The member for uh, Nepean Carlton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm rising today in disappointment of the hurtful and ignorant comments made by the head of CUPE Ontario about the State of Israel and a resolution he has advanced that has made thousands, if not millions, of Ontarians uncomfortable. As a member of the Ontario Legislature, I condemn a proposed resolution by CUPE Ontario which would have banned Israeli professors from, quote, doing speaking, teaching, or research work at Ontario's universities. Unquote. Ontario's universities, Mr. Speaker, are a place of higher learning where our students are encouraged to seek the truth. Our Legislative Assembly, and by extension our government, should advance diversity and the exchange of ideas. Sid Ryan's so-called boycott of Israeli academics would limit that exchange and has the potential to damage diversity in Ontario's campuses. I also fear his words that have compared Israeli operations in Gaza to Nazi actions in World War II were not only offensive, but downright discriminatory. I'm pleased he has apologized for those comments, but those words have left, uh, left a lasting sting. Furthermore, with 50,000 students being forced out of one of Canada's largest universities right here in the province of Ontario, Mr. Ryan's comments cast a very sad reflection on his priorities as CUPE leader. Finally, I call on the Government of Ontario to condemn Mr. Ryan's statements, this proposed resolution, and to call and place a call for greater tolerance and reflection at this time. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.